Hi, I'm Simon from ScienceWorks. I'm here from the, bringing this to you from the Lightning Room at ScienceWorks. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about magnets. Now, the big question a lot of people have is, are magnets natural or are they man-made? Well, the answer is, well, it can be both. So let me give you an example. On the table here in front of me, I have a piece of rock. Now, it just looks like ordinary rock, but it's actually a special rock. It's called iron ore. There is some iron mixed inside this rock. It's actually called lodestone, it's its natural name. Now this rock, somewhere in its past, was struck by lightning and the electric electricity running through it has changed the properties of the iron inside and it's given it the ability to attract other pieces of iron like this, as you can see. Now this is a property known as magnetism. So the lightning strike, the electricity flowing through the rock, has turned this into a naturally occurring magnet. So lodestones are the first magnets we ever found. How does that work? Well. It turns out that these naturally occurring magnets can be created by lightning because we can make our own magnets as well. And the way you might want to do that is to grab a magnet like this one here. And this is just a little, tiny little bar magnet. You might have a slightly different looking one at home, but you'll need a bar magnet and something made of iron. I'm going to use a simple nail like this. You probably find out in the shed. What you need to do is stroke the magnet along the nail like this in the same direction all the time don't go backwards and forwards. It has to be in the same direction each time, using the same end of the magnet. Now, you might need to do this a few hundred times, at least a hundred times probably, sometimes more. So rather than show you all of that, I've got a nail here that I've actually already done this with. And if I bring it close to the paper clips, you can see that this nail has been permanently magnetized by that stroking with the magnet. So we can make our own magnets at home. Very easy to do. The other thing, of course, we can do is we can actually make something called an electromagnet. Now, I said that lightning, that flow of electricity, has magnetized the rock because when electricity flows, it makes magnetism. So over here on the table, I've got two really, really big coils of wire, lots and lots of wire coiled round and round and round in a big spiral. When I push the switch on this table here, it puts some electricity through those coils, and when I do that, you might hear the hum coming from that now as there's electricity flowing through them. These bits of metal here become magnetized. If I turn it off, you can see that the rod falls off again. So you can make magnetism with electricity. Now this electromagnet here is the same sort of process that involved in magnetizing this rock here. If you want to make your own electromagnet at home, all you need is a battery, some coils of wire, and when you've got the wire connected to the battery in a circuit, you should be able to use it to pick up some paper clips, just like I did with the nail here. If you want to show us what you're doing at home, that'd be great. You can send it to hashtag ScienceWorks, and we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks very much.